Hi guys and welcome to another squad build by myself, Bates in 87. Today we are doing around the cheap in form. When I actually played with him, he was pretty a cheap team of season, sorry. Um, when I was playing with him, he was actually pretty expensive, but I think his price has dropped down now because the hype of the uh, Liga NOS team of season has dropped down. And that player is Agra, um, or Salvador as his in-game name is. Very, very, very fast player. Ridiculously good. One thing and two no, two things he's not very good at, but I will explain that later on in the video. So today we're doing a full team of season squad builder um, as well. Uh, not very creative. If you guys want to be creative and want to see creative squad builders, go on Foothead, go on Footwiz. We go for ball. We ball out. We ball out. We like we, get, we take our nut sacks and we dangle them. Not in public, but I don't know, dangle them on my computer desk or something. So, yeah, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, if you do want MSP, PSN codes, or cheeky game codes, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. If you're trying to hit over 5,000 likes, that would be absolutely awesome. And, guys, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. So, in the goalkeeper position, guys, um, there is going to be a full team of the season team. We do go with team of the season, Farman from, obviously, Schalke. He gets a strong link on the right-hand side. Yeah, left-hand side, actually. Um... Which is obviously going to be the team of the season, Hummels. Very, very good player. And then in the middle, we are going to go with another player from the uh, Ear Division team of the season. And it is the Veltman card. Did actually get him sent off in one game, so I had to play with, uh, with a legend to fill it in the gap, and it was very, very annoying. In the right back position, guys, we do go with a silver team of the season this time round from the. I think, I think this was from the most consistent. I'm not sure. Was that guy from the most consistent night for the fifth? No, maybe not. Maybe it was from the uh, team of the season. Um, uh, team of the season E division. Anyway, left back we do go with Schmelzer getting the strong link. Um, obviously, perfect link actually to um, to Hummels. And then that's the defense sorted. Very, very good, solid defense. I actually, really enjoyed this right back in the team, and uh, also enjoyed Schmelzer very, very well in the center midfield center midfield position on the left hand side, guys. We do go with another team of the season. It might find me a while to actually find this guy actually um he is from the bundesliga and he uh, yeah and he is german as well where is he was it one of the cheap ones there he is the hood yeah it was the hood this guy and i will show you this while we're actually doing the video um if you look here the hood um if we look here he's gone from a 60 rated card this year all the way up and i may as well search the club because i've got them all anyway if we search he's gone from that card to that to the inform to the silver to that and now obviously a team in the season 83 rated as well so very very interesting um interesting rise up for the hood this year on the right hand side we do go with another dutch player who i really really enjoy using all the time this guy's got a ridiculous long shot. It is Klaassen uh, from Ajax as well. And then we finish off with, obviously, the Liga NOS players. So we may as well move it over, guys, as a few of the Liga NOS players are not very high rated if I do find them. Um, Poland... So far down, in it? So far down. There we are. Liga NOS centre midfielder, guys. We have gone with Silva. I have used him before in a squad build. I played him at camp. I said I would prefer to use him at centre mid. And we have actually done a squad build today with him at centre midfield. In the left forward position, we go with Rafa. This guy... Did I pack him? I paid 40k for him. I'm curious to see how much to go for now because not many people seem to be that interested. Holy shit. His price has gone up a little bit, hasn't it? Yeah, he's gone up a little bit, but 61k isn't that much. But that isn't the player we are doing about. Even though it is a, a really gruesome attacking front three, it's mainly this right forward, which is a beast, and it is Agra. Um, Agra... Agra, 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 what's his name? Salvador Agra. I may have said his name wrong at the wrong. We paid 37k for him at the start. Curious to see how much he goes for now. Probably gone up a little bit. 50, 52k. Yeah. So that's the point, guys. If we're gonna buy any of these team and season, team and season players. Buy them on the last days. That's the cheapest point usually. And the final striker to run into this team, guys, is obviously gonna be Jonas, who is my 10 out of 10 striker on this game. Um, very, very solid. As you can see, 10 games, 10 goals uh, with Agra and one assist. He definitely could have had a lot more. 10 goals, um, 10 games, two goals with uh, with Rafa and Jonas. Uh, 12 games, nine goals, uh, six assists. Very, very solid team. Full team and season team. Hope you guys have enjoyed watching it. If you have, leave a like, rate, and subscribe. If you are not, and uh, we'll be back in a sec to show you the highlights we did manage to get with this team and talk a little bit more about Agra and why he is so good. So, guys, as always, I'm going to show you all the goals we did get with the team. As even though it is a bit of a play review, I do like to show how the whole team links up. Now, Rafa, in the 10 games and 10 goals that he did get, and the only the one assist, he is very, very clinical at dribbling. Um, my first experience of him was actually playing against him in the draft and the guy completely rattled me. I have no idea what he was doing. I didn't even know who this guy was. His name pops up as Salvador um, in the game, as you guys can see on the screen in a few minutes. Now, the team. It's good. Jonas, clinical finisher. 10 out of 10 in the game, both inside and outside the area. Uh, Rafa. 
rapid, decent dribbling, and Agra. This this guy's got something about him a little bit different compared to most. I don't know what it is. It hits the post a hell of a lot. That's the downfall I do find with him. His finishing isn't the best, but when he gets inside the area, he is very smooth, very fast, very, very agile, and that links the ball up very well. Even though he only got one assist, I was being quite greedy with him, I think. The three, um, like... I've not used the team of season which I've enjoyed the most. Like, this is a perfect example of what he does. Nice, really fast skill moves, tight dribbling, and uh, an alright finesse shot, but that's a basic goal which should go in anyway. But he was missing a few of them, which was very annoying. The three centre midfielders of the Hood, Silver, and Klaassen all have defensive and attacking abilities. Klaassen has a ridiculous long shot. I, don't, I didn't, don't think I showed him a goal to game measure of him. 16 games, 3 goals, 3 assists. The Hood's got 10 games, 2 goals, and uh, Silver's got 12 games, 4 goals, 3 assists uh, for me. So, not a bad solid midfield. Uh, um, and the defence as well. The only letdown in the defence was probably Beltman, really, just because he got that red card once. But um, really, really enjoyed the defence. I think I think you're actually going to see some clips actually where I did play against Nepenthes. No point up on the screen um, when you do see it. We were losing one nil and then we won three uh, one. So a bit of a spoiler there. Um, and one of the reasons he scored a, a net scored a goal was because of the worldie from fucking um, against Farman. Uh, Farman is ridiculously crap at long shots, but so are most high rated goalkeepers. When the controller does get put down, guys, the Flair is going to come out. Just a heads up, that guy put his control down. I took advantage. This is the game with Nep here, as you do see, guys. Able to um, obviously take advantage of the uh, bit of skills. Bit of luck as well as Adrian gets on the score sheet. Um... But a very, very well-rounded team. Really enjoyed it. And if you guys do have any additions you do want to see with the teams, i.e. any more players you want to see put into it, or even any more individual player reviews during team of season, feel free to let me know, guys. Expensive or cheap, I do not mind doing them. Um, obviously, these players have done so far been under 100k, apart from, obviously, Jonas. And uh, there's plenty more to come. We've basically got the full stack of all the players in team of the season. It's mainly the attackers I like doing it. Uh, but if you guys do obviously enjoy me playing with them, showing you how they play, showing you how a team to build around it is. If you can't afford the rest of the team, you can obviously buy it um, as a non-informed team that still play ridiculously good, um, ridiculously good. And uh, yeah, if you guys have enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It. It's got a wonderful free kick as you see there. So leave a like, it, and guys, subscribe if not. And we'll be back another day with another video for you guys, hopefully, to enjoy.